All right, guys, welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We're on episode number five for today, and today we're sitting at Diamond, I think, two. Yeah, we're Diamond two, Division three. In the last episode, we ended up losing one game and winning two. Spoiler alert if you missed the last one. As always, I've put all these videos in a playlist so you can watch back all the episodes in order if you'd like. Um, that way you can watch as we progress through the ranks. I'm actually recording this one live right now on my Twitch. Probably a big mistake, but either way, we'll, we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> we might get some uh, stream snipers. Who knows? Especially in Diamond, because that's like the average rank, like I talked about last episode. But before we get to the episode, we have a recommendation here: Let the Mirror Cat. I can finally do this one because I, you know, I'm not changing my name anymore because it's not Epic Games. So we're gonna make this one real quick. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this, but I got some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got a picture of a meerkat, uh, and I've got me with a thumbs up. Here we, here I am. Uh, so I don't really know <laughs> how I'm gonna combine these two things. Let's let's just start with the the good old basic. Grab my head, and uh, start from there. This might become the the most cursed photo on the entire series. All right, I got my head. Now what? Um, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just. I don't know about this. I really don't know. Oh God. Okay, this is this is cursed. I think I'm gonna keep the nose of the meerkat and then like put my mouth. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. All right. Let me let me cook for a second. No, I. This is this is a bad idea. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Um. Um. <laughs> All right, all right. Give me, give me one second. Give me one second. I, I got some. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. All right, there it is. <laughs> okay, there we have it. That's let them your cat. Thank you so much to Maya Bovita or Boveda. I'm not really sure how you say your last name. Sorry if I botched that a little bit. But uh, this one is horrible, in a good way. All right, let's get into the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed so far. Let's get right into the games. All right, for the first game, we got uh, X, Pow, and Rush. All yours, all yours, all yours. I'm assuming that means I'm going for this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that's what he means. So I'm flipping forward. Um, the opponents didn't flip forward. And a lot of people commented that. They, they see a lot of players in Diamond that are flipping on the kickoff and stuff. So I'm going to start doing that more often. I've got space here. So I'm going to try and watch for my teammate. I said he's not quite ready um, for the pass. So I'm just going to go for 50-50 instead. I could have made a solo play and went towards the net. Uh, but I'm trying to utilize my teammate as much as possible. Um, I also talked about how every, in every, every episode so far, I'm not supposed to score um, quite soon, or not, not quite yet, um, but uh, hopefully my teammate can follow that up. Ooh! <laughs> good try, good try. Um, it happens. No, 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 it's no problem. Um, my teammate got the mid boost, so I'm going to grab the back corner boost and try to get in the way of this so my teammate can push up. Really good positioning, hopefully he can dribble it. Good shot down the field too. And they own gold to me uh, a little awkward touch. x in the corner, and because he's in the corner against the wall, I know that I have space to try and go for the clear. Um, it's all about car, like it's not body language, it's car language. It's all about knowing like what's possible by a player. You have to kind of put yourself in the shoes of the player um, that you're playing against rather than look at your own point of view. Um, at least that's what I try to do. I try to like, you know, think of what it looks like um, to the players that are actually coming at me like are they closer do they think they're closer to the ball it's not just are they closer to the ball do they think they're closer to the ball than you are um and you know wh whoever has the better knowledge or understanding of the situation will come out on top in most situations so right here i'm going to do a bit of shadowing i'm going to wait for my teammate to challenge she cuts really well there and now it's in midfield expo might try to go for this he's actually going to leave because i'm there oh my teammate went as well i ended up missing that flip but once again i can just go back to net here and get in the way um <laughs> My teammate did bump me though, uh, but honestly that was on me because I didn't get the clear when I needed to. Even though my teammate also went, but he bumped me out of the way. Not much you can do about that. I mean, you can't really complain. He was trying to clear it across the net or something. I'm going to wait here to see what happens. I haven't, I haven't really seen what his 50-50s are like on kickoff, so I'm just going to be careful. Alright, so we're going to stay with this. I am last man right here, so what I'm going to do is just wait for my, the, uh, the opponent. A, lo a lot of times at like diamond level, platinum level, um, like players will just... Um, my teammate gets in the way here. Nice. Um, a lot of players will just um, throw the ball really early at you, so you don't need to panic and just you can just wait for them to touch the ball. Um, if you have if you have the skills to do aerials, as you see, they're trying to go for something. Um, you can go for that. You can definitely beat them if you're in the ready position, like I was. Right here, this guy's going up for this. this is pretty dangerous if I don't 
uh, wait on, on goal line. And once again, they're they're going for these aerials, but they're not getting the heavy touches to get that shot on target. But hopefully Jerry can go for this. All right, so he, he touched the ball once. I can stay here near the wall. And if they come in for this challenge, I can just force it. Um, see, I'm just like waiting for the opponent to make a touch towards me instead of just hitting the ball as soon as possible. Uh, right here, I can go up for this. I'm not going to hit it, but that's the right idea to go for that. You can definitely beat Rush going for that ball. The fact that my teammate was really close to the... Oh, he's sitting in front of the ball. I think he was like waiting for me to go, but it's way too dangerous for me to go in for that, that challenge the second that he's like near the ball. Right here, I have a, a free ball, so I'm just going to boom off the corner. See what they do here. Not my best pass. I definitely could have popped that middle more. It's going to be really hard for him. Nice save. That's a really good play. So what I'm going to do is hit this ball towards the boost. It's really important that you flip towards the ball and the boost in those situations. Um, that way you can uh, continue to play up the field with full boost rather than hitting the ball off the wall. I'm just going to stay with this. Good bump from them. It's going to be really tough for my teammate. I'm going to see if he goes for this. Your hard read. Good try on the save. Now I can sit behind the ball and wait for it. And if they challenge his last man, like they can't really go for this. So I'm going to stay. Oh, oh, so close. See my team. I can finish it. Good save from them. I'm going to keep pre pressure on this because they're just challenging the ball really, really. I can still turn like this. And this would be a good time for me to jump as well. But as you can see, my teammate went. That's why I was a little bit careful not to jump. Just a matter of understanding what people might go for. It's a good pinch, but once again, those pinches like kind of bring the ball to us, so it's not a big deal. You don't need to panic because they were both in the corner committing, and uh, that'll work for us because I can sit in mid here. And this is open. Like I could shoot this, and I probably should just go for some sort of play. This is back in the mid too, see so if my teammate can get there. He's pretty far. Like I had a lot of control there. Good try on the shot. I'm gonna go for this, even though I'm last man. Just gonna 50-50. And try to stay in front again. This should be my teammate now. Good clear. And they have some space. That's a really good touch to follow it up on the side wall. You can see that the way that he flipped that didn't put the ball too fast. And it might not have been intentional, but it's the right idea to hit that ball like not somewhat soft, but just like in a way that um, you can still go for the ball and uh, continue it down the field. Now, I saw a lot of comments about the fact that I'm like looking like a gold playing in diamond. Um, also, this guy's saying all yours. Just be careful with that calm because some people understand all yours as like they're going to go, but then it's your ball. Like it's a, a fake play. Um, if you want to say, just say all yours once. But if you spam it like that, people like at the higher ranks, definitely they they interpret that as like um, like that's um, a fake play or something. So my teammate's a little scared to go for this. Good 50-50. This is a pretty high ball and like they could shoot this. So we just got to wait for it. They do miss. So now we got to wait for Expo to see what happens. There's a lot of situations in Rocket League where you, you'll go for something uh, and like you'll you'll wait because someone's going to hit it and you can't be upset that they missed because you know if they did hit it, they, it would be really dangerous. It's a really good bump from Expo. See my team wants to go up for this. It's off target. But I can go for this. Can pop it up forward. Expo is going to be there. I'm going to grab this corner boost to steal from them. I'm playing a little bit faster than I probably should, but I'm going to just pick up the pace a little bit. All right, good. See if my teammate wants to touch it. Go for a flip. Good try. So I can do this. I can pop this off the wall really hard with that front flip. And this might just be in mid for my teammate. Good save, though. I'll pop off the backboard. See what happens. So they have to make a touch because I put it in an awkward spot. They make a touch. And this is open. I really probably should... I don't know. I, I feel like I should score it. <laughs> At this point, we are in diamond. Like People, people are getting pretty good. He's saying wow too, and if I'm upsetting him that I didn't score, I, I probably should score. So there, there we go. <laughs> um, I feel bad on that one. I, I really probably should, uh, I probably should have scored earlier. Um, when when he made a good play, like he forced them to put the ball in mid, and I really should go for the shot there. Like I need to stop like turning on plays where it's like an obvious shot I could go for, because it's not something that like would be normal for a player in diamond to see. So I, I really need to stop doing things that would be uncomfortable for my teammate as well. But like, I just need to make sure I'm not going overboard. And I, like I said, I could do the thing where people are saying to like play key keyboard and mouse uh, at these ranks, which would be, which would be pretty interesting. I'll probably do that for the next episode um, and see how we do. Cause I, I would say that I'm about like champ level as far as like playing keyboard and mouse, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We might be pretty trash. This really does look much slower than my games. It is exactly my rank too. Yeah. So the thing is about playing slower um, is it's, 
it's showing that it's not entirely necessary to go supersonic speed all the time. Uh, I'm not going to say that opponent's name, uh, but we do have Elite Force and uh, Savage with uh, Caper on my team. So we got a, a teammate or an opponent that flipped towards the play instead uh, of just driving this time. See, I really... Oh, that's a good challenge. So this is going to be awkward. I, what I'm going to do is just try and get a good read on where the ball is going to land here. So my teammate looks like he wants a turn, um, which is fine. Good pass midfield. I'll go for the shot there. That's a really good pass. It's it's. I would say like it, it's okay to make this turn if like your teammate's not quite ready. And I don't mind waiting a mid for the pass. Um, especially because they were both sitting... Um, like back, like back post. One of the players on their team needs to, um, like challenge, uh, the play and get forward, but they're both hesitating on the back, back line. This could be a good shot. Go for a save. So we're getting into some faster players. They boomed it up, but as you can see, it's not on target and it's near the, the, the wall. So what I can do is I can wait for it to come to me and I can boom it back in. I don't need to grab this boost. Obviously I'm at a hundred, but I just wanted to, why not? This could be an outplay. So this is something I could go for, and it's quite dangerous if you don't get a good read. Because as you can see, they had a pretty good read on the back end. Now I'm going to keep this close. He's waiting here and, and see what happens. So I'm going to go 50-50. And then he might make a touch to, uh, over his teammate. My teammate could move forward here. Good positioning. It's a good first touch. So now I'm going to stay close. I don't need to push this towards the net too fast. Because I can go for a passing play middle. And a great shot. And honestly, that that was like a, a really, really close position. It would have been better to shoot it bottom right. But still, like, I feel like I'm controlling too much, actually, looking at that. Rocket League becomes a lot of just back and forth. Like, he touched it here, so I'm going to try and go. Now I hit it. Now it's going to be them. It's just a matter of, like, a ping pong back and forth. Um, And the less that you ping it back at the opponents, the better. So knowing when you have that space, that's a really good pass. Good save. Could have shot that better, um, but we're already up two, two goals, and I don't want to keep scoring open nets like that. I, I think it's really good that my teammate's getting ready for those passes. Right here, I'm going to wait because, once again, um, they don't have anything going for them when they're dribbling on the floor like that. Oh, good try on the finish. And right here, I have, I have, I'm last man, and there's a player coming at me, so I can go for a 50-50 of some sort, but as you can see, that might have been too dangerous, but really good touch from my teammate. This guy's pretty fast. So it looks like my team wants to go for this. Good try. This guy's pretty good off the walls. I'm still last man here. Even though my teammate's behind me, he's not quite ready to um, make a challenge or something. So let's see what my teammate can do. Good clear. Good try. So I have a lot of time to kill here. So this is a little dangerous. So I want to be that. Like I said, I've this might be pretty dangerous here, actually. Nice. Good save. Like I definitely could have just, you know done like a crazy move like this where I go for the aerial and that's like a, a level uh, I would say above diamond level uh, but my teammate has really good defense like he actually went for the uh, the clear across so I hit that off the curve it goes really high my teammates going in for the, the barrel challenge he does get it but elite is oh okay we're good so I'm, I'm just waiting for him to make a touch to me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass this middle and see if my teammate can finish it great finish so me me sitting there with the ball, if I if I wanted to go for the net, I'm gonna have to go around the ball, and I'll I, I don't know if I can explain that any better. But if I went around the ball behind towards the goal line, um, then that would give the opponent enough time to come at the challenge and get a 50-50. Like you gotta think about, like I said, the perspective of the player that's going for the defensive clear. They think, oh, I've got a block net. Net is right here. So if I go around net, then that player is out of the way. He's he's trying to party up with me, but I, I still think. I shouldn't party up with, with anybody for the series for now. Maybe when we get to the higher ranks. But we're into Diamond 3 now, Division 2. Uh, we're climbing up the Diamond ranks here. I think that the biggest thing we can take away so far from the games is just that using utilizing the space for your teammate is really, really important when there's uh, players sitting on their defensive line. Like, you have opportunities to play around the player. And, and I think 1v1 is a good way to learn that too, where you're, you're playing ones and there's a player who's always going to be defending the net. And if you just chip the ball uh, around them as they're challenging, then you have a space to just get an open shot instead of just trying to shoot it right into the player. You should speed flip now. People in plat do it. People in plat do not speed flip. <laughs> so we've got a team here, Shake and Bake. My teammate. I'm not going to say his name in case it gets demonetized. Honestly, it's it's uh, it's a scary day on YouTube. The silliest thing might might uh, trigger the, the flag. So 
All right, good clear. I've got space. I can let the, I, can, I have a lot of options. I can let this roll up the wall. I can keep it close. I can get let my teammate get behind me. I can force the ball. It's a really uh, awkward play though, because it's gonna be right in midfield. So not the best 50-50 because it fed it into uh, the midfield for the the opponent. What I could have done is gotten in front of it, but uh, he actually challenged it a little bit um, behind the ball. I was expecting him to go towards uh, the corner. It was a good good challenge by him. To go for the uh, cheat here. So once again, lots of space. I can go with the wall here and get a clear. And now it's over. One player's heads. Good try on the shot. Gonna be around him. I, I didn't want to. I, I kind of controlled that a little bit too much, so I just went for the shot around the target. So see how my teammate went in for. Okay. You know. <laughs> I was about to say, see how my teammate went look for an immediate hit really, really fast, and. Uh, and then it just ended up going to the opponents. Well, funny thing, we scored. So, yeah, just one of those moments <laughs> where I say something and I'm like, oh, that was not good. And then it's a goal. So I'm going to get in the way for my teammate there because I I don't want him to be stuck as last man. Oh, that's a really bad touch. They're going to have to make a touch here. Make it clear. I knew that he was going to go for that. Um, that's why I waited there. Like, driving up really fast to the ball and then stopping sometimes causes players to panic. So it's a good way to fake players into going for a touch they, they otherwise wouldn't have wanted to go for. Oh. Good play on the field. My teammate's got uh, some space in the corner here. See what happens. So this is a shot I could go for. I'm going to miss this, though. Pop it up nice and high, see if they get a save. My teammate went for it as well. And that should be a finish. That's one of those situations where like my teammate went for something. He tried to go for the shot. He ended up missing, but it popped out to mid. And instead of me all, going all the way back, because I still had a lot of boost, I can go for the shot. It was a, it was definitely uh, not the the cleanest of plays. But I I think I think I've hammered the point home that like getting high touches. Oh, he's not going. Um, good save. Um, hammering the point home that like high touches on 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 uh, target or just towards the net can cause a lot of issues for players at this rank so just getting these guys have like pretty good passing plays down the field see if my teammate can get a clear good save oh my so they're really overcommitted because they're gonna be panicking here oh my team went for mid boost a little dangerous i think he could have stayed back for the corner boost instead he's gonna turn on this so as you can see this is a team that's very very aggressive so you're gonna, it's, it's gonna be one of those games where you're gonna be soaking up a lot of pressure and it's not it's not the worst if this happens um you can just get keep getting clears until they have to back out the biggest thing about uh teams like this where they're really aggressive all the time is just securing boost on your side as you can see they're just going for really early challenges all it takes is really one big clear though to put them out of sorts so that's why i'm just gonna wait here see if this boost spawns it still doesn't spawn i can go for that but they're like they're a team where they're both going for challenges, both going on the ball. And right here, if I go around them towards my teammate, it'll probably be enough to make it really awkward for them. I guess they're both stunned on midfield here, but this is dangerous. A little bit of a scuff up in mid here, but I got some space now. Probably going to be a player on me. There's one. And their last man is going, so I'm just going to go for the challenge, see if my teammate can go for the aerial or something. Good shot and good finish. So the reason why that worked for us was because their their last man's playing an aggressive uh, position, where I have no fear in going for the challenge. Like sometimes you might question, like, oh, why is this player going for for the ball? It's because there's a player advantage. So there's really no downside. Even if you fail the challenge, it is their last man um, that's going for a touch. Now this is off the backboard. If they read this, is a pretty good play. But as you can see, I can wait patiently. See my teammate wants to finish it. All right, so he's going to try and maybe pinch it. Good pump. I still don't want to go for that, though, because as you can see, I'm 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 last man there going for a touch where my teammates in the net. So anything that goes wrong, it's going to feed into mid. And with a, th a two goal advantage, like I don't really need to overcommit or do anything like maybe if there was a few seconds left, it really is just situational. It's a really good shot. I mean, I definitely could save that, but that's a really, really good shot. And I don't I don't think people at Diamond would react to something like this. This is a really good position and a really high clear. But as you can see, I probably could have been back more on the goal a lot earlier to get ready for any potential turn on the ball. That's pretty good. 
See if we can finish it. Nice finish. Really good 50-50 from uh, my teammate. He got like a good position off the ball and then um, ended up uh, chipping it over DJ. Someone in my chat just said, I'm su super surprised your teammate isn't bumping you all the time. I think w what you're realizing, uh, well, hopefully you're realizing that everyone's like, oh, this is so much slower. This is so different to what my gameplay is like. It's because I'm not involving myself the way that you might be involving yourself at the rank. So what I'm trying to show at this rank is that you don't need to overdo it. You don't need to work too hard. You're work smart, not hard. Like right here, he's going to go for a shot. So I'm just going to wait instead. Don't try to 50-50 or challenge the player on your last man like that. Just let them feed the ball to you. Make, make, make proper decisions and you'll find yourself ranking up very, very fast. Even me going off target there with that shot, that made them both panic and go diving across the net. There's so many opportunities like that where like I make a touch that goes around them and then we can utilize the space after the fact. So yeah, the biggest thing I've seen that constant comments through every road to SSL series that I've done is like, this is so different. I don't see opponents like this. It's like, that's because you're diving through the, the ball and trying to involve yourself in things you probably don't need to be involved in. Knowing what balls to go for is important. Like I could have went for that and I could have been fast, but my teammate was in a decent, a decent enough position as well. And I can get ready for this in case he misses, but a good clear. So overall, like it's really just a matter of decision making that comes down to where you're going to find the biggest improvement. Like, yeah, you can practice your flip resets and, and, and double touches and stuff. We even have a champ player here and you could definitely tell that Jeff A was a little bit higher ranked, um, the way he was playing. But overall, still at a champ level, we're, we're making good decisions. We're putting ourselves in good positions. We're finding spots where we can support our teammates and we're not, you know, overcrowding the ball when we don't need to. Like there's, what are these names down here? It's so weird. I'm so used to like very serious names like Torment or anything. This is pretty dangerous here because I didn't cheat up close enough, but good 50-50 for my teammate. But as I was saying, um, you don't need to involve yourself in situations where um, you're going to just overcrowd the ball and you know, dive into spots. It may look faster because there's so many times where I could have went, but I decided not to. My teammate just went back. I, I, I know from the fact that my teammate flipped backwards that I don't need to go for the challenge right away because if I do, my teammate's not going to be able to support me. So it's it's half on my teammate, half on me to for him to go for pads um, and also for me to wait for him to be in a good position. So right here's a good time for me to go for a challenge. If I went even faster, I could have uh, beaten him and, uh, you know, put some pressure on net, but it's not always necessary. Good sh try on the shot. See if they make a shot or a clear, I mean. Whee! <laughs> now, while my teammate's going for this challenge, I'm going to grab a few boost pads in middle and see if I can find an opening. So now I'm going to go for this. I'm playing a little too passive, I would say. You can definitely get a little more involved and start making them second guess. All right, see my teammate gets in the way. Good touch. Good boost grab. They're last right now, so it's a little scary. I'm gonna wait for this. Now once I have, again, I have space here. Go for some sort of clear. Their second man just, or their last man just went for a, a really aggressive play. Now I have some space on the ball. Let's see if, um, wait for the bumps. I'm just trying to avoid him. I'm doing some break checks. He passed his middle. Good try. He got a little scared. I think it was too close to the net. He said sorry, so he realized he could have went for the passing play. Good try on the shot backboard once again this is pretty scary so i don't really want to go for it that felt that felt like a nexto like moment that was that was kind of crazy it was i don't think it was though just the way that he uh positioned off the flick that was really good that was a really good shot well Maybe this guy was uh, really impressed with the flick, so he, he tried to save the replay or something, but he didn't go for the kickoff. But the biggest takeaway so far from this game is the fact that there's so many opportunities where they go off the, uh, the ball goes off the backboard, but they're they're sitting really patiently on the uh, on the uh, the goal line, so they're just not um, there's not really any opportunity to go for that play unless you make it really really fast. There we go, and they're defending the backboard better. So you can see that the things we were doing before, like popping the ball up, is not working against this team. So you have to change it up. So now this might be a good time to start doing more dribble plays or, um, you know, plays where you can keep close to the ball. That's a good clear. It's going to be a shot. It's going to be a goal. It's a good play from them. There's a lot of time on the on the ball there for them to make it clear. 
And my teammate went underneath me when I tried to keep the ball close to myself to try and go for the clear. So it's uh, one of those situations where... Oh, I'm, de I'm demoed. Nice. This could be awkward for them. Let's get clear across the net here. So we got to be a little bit careful in the corner here. Ow. He's bumping me. Okay, we have 15 seconds. Do I pop off here and try to get a goal? We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we score. <laughs> okay, I feel kind of bad for that one, but that was a really good shot. I mean, there's a lot of time on the ball to make it clear here. And the way that I I, I uh, angle my shot there to go for the shot um, it gets a lot more power. I'm going to stay close to this. Oh, good little love tap uh, by my teammate. So the biggest problem I'm seeing for our team right now is we're not able to cause any pressure because we're not um, finding each other on the rotation. So I'm trying to find my teammate on a, a spot where he's ready for a play. There's an awkward play in the corner here. I'm just going to pop it off the corner, see if um, good try on the shot. But these two are playing pretty, uh, pretty good defense. All right, so my teammate didn't see me. Go for the clear on the corner. Hope this tells my teammate to go to the corner and, and he could have boosted towards that and got the boost. Playing a little bit too slow for the, to allow them to get into the play. I'm going to try off the backboard again, see if my teammate can go for it. Nice finish. There we go. That's a really good play. Once, once he sees that um, I'm setting up a backward play, he goes for that position to follow it up. So I'm using the fact that the ball's bouncing to my advantage to go for the passing play, and my teammate finishes it off. So pretty good, pretty good game. Obviously, I kind of picked it up a little bit on that one goal, but I don't want to be stuck in diamond and, and ruin the MMR. So it's it's keeping me really low. I don't want the series to last so long that I'm keeping myself in the ranks. But now we're into champ one. As you can see, this just got our rank up. We moved through diamond three in one episode, which is probably a good thing that we're moving up faster. Um, so we're gonna start to get into higher, higher uh, ranks as we go here. Pretty good flick from that guy. I really don't know if that was like, I don't think it was a Nexto flick because the way that he like readjusted, it was a really good setup the way that he caught it. So obviously there are moments where Platinums can do crazy things and, or not Platinums, di Diamonds can do some pr crazy things. It's just gonna happen. People people peak, people do crazy things at SSL level two. You gotta respect the grind. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a lot of fun to record live. Honestly, I don't think I got any stream snipers, which was really refreshing, uh, but I probably won't continue doing this. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if we'll do another episode in the future. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.